Rainfall is above average so far this year, and that's what's helped wipe out the drought that we were in. Now, the pollen count, of course, gets knocked down when it rains, and so it's been lowered some. But tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday, it will go right back up to being very high tree pollen season as the dry and warmer air moves in. So it's a clearing trend overnight tonight, much warmer tomorrow compared to the way it's been, and then very warm to bordering on hot for Wednesday and Thursday. Skies are trying to brighten some before we get to sunset here. It's 59 in Boston with a north to northwesterly wind. It's a little bit milder to the west where the sun has tried to break through just a little bit more. Overnight, upper 40s, low 50s will do it for our low temperatures. And the storm is still spinning around offshore, but now you can see that most of the heavy duty moisture certainly is gone. And the clearing skies across New York State and Pennsylvania, they're going to work in overnight to give us a good deal of sun tomorrow. There's the clearing trend. There's your sunshine for tomorrow. Uh, late tomorrow, but especially tomorrow night, some high clouds will come in. That actually represents the leading edge of warmer air. And Wednesday is when it will get very warm around here and stay that way on Thursday as well. Now, if you head to the west, you see the milder air around Pittsburgh. Then it turns warmer around Cincinnati and hot around St. Louis. And this is a case where that is exactly the air that's headed in our direction. So tomorrow afternoon with all that sunshine and an active breeze, but not as windy as today, mid to upper 70s around Boston. And tomorrow's a day where Cape Cod will be just about as warm as everybody else because it's a land breeze out of the northwest. Wednesday, most of us will be in the 80s, but cooler on the Cape. Then Thursday should be the hottest of this sequence. Record in Boston is 91. Right now I'm predicting a 90. Worcester's record is also 90. I'm predicting about an 88. So near record or record warmth is possible in parts of southern New England on Thursday. As you look at the next seven days, check it out. There you see the trend is to warm and then hot weather. Now a front will cross the region on Friday. Doesn't look like a whole lot of moisture with it. Maybe a spot shower and temperatures will turn somewhat cooler, especially for the first half of the weekend. A little bit warmer on Sunday than the shower risk will increase some around Sunday night and Monday. So things are not just going to get back to normal. They're actually going to go way above normal for a couple of days, particularly Wednesday and Thursday.